Today we are going to perform a little culinary magic. We are going to take the longtime staple of man cave kitchens everywhere and turn it into a work of art. And we are going to do it all for less than six bucks. Today we tackle those nasty cardboard tasting slabs of polysaturated glucose, those discs of dietary disaster, those platters of imitation cheese and dehydronized everything. Yes, we're talking the frozen pizza. Say what? Chef Man Cave, Mr. Fresh Veggie Guy, Mr. Healthy Living Dude, Mr. All Natural Himself, doing frozen pizza? I know, I know, all the cooking show hosts are grabbing their sharpest knives as we speak and are headed to my kitchen, led by Gordon Ramsay himself, probably spewing out a half a dozen or so bleeped out words. But let's face it. For every one person who is out there struggling to produce one of their healthy recipes, there are ten people throwing a frozen pizza in the oven. So I stepped up and accepted the challenge of making frozen pizza taste good. Okay, tip number one. Buy a cheese-only pizza. We are going to supply our own toppings. Can you smell fresh ingredients? The more items you leave up to the pizza makers, the more items their chemical engineers get to preservatize, hydrogenize, and purple dye eyes. Is that even a word? Use a pizza stone. If you don't have a pizza stone, then buy one. They are inexpensive, around 15 bucks, and can be found almost anywhere. Walmart, Myers, Bed Bath & Beyond. We won't get into the science of it, but the pizza stone will produce a crispy bottom crust while leaving the top soft, gooey, and delicious. Step 1 of the magic. Preheat your oven to 396.5 degrees and place your frozen pizza on the stone. Chop up some garlic and sprinkle on top of the pizza. Any other chopped veggies like onions or peppers are applied now. Quick note, do not apply extra cheese or tomatoes yet. That'll come later. Step 2. As your oven is approaching somewhere between 341.7 degrees and 342.1 degrees, cover your pizza with sandwich pepperoni. You can buy sandwich pepperoni at the deli section in most grocery stores. I like to get my sandwich pepperoni sliced thin. This will give your eyes the appearance that your pizza has a ton of meat on it, while at the same time reducing the amount of high sodium and high fat ingredients. Wow, tastes good, and throw in a little bit of healthy. Now, place the stone and the pizza in the oven. Step 3. Let the pizza cook until almost done. A good estimate would be 15 to 20 minutes. Here is the only spot you can screw up. Don't burn it. Step 4. Start by turning the oven off. Open a can of petite cut tomatoes. I know, where is the freshness than that? But I figure if you're cooking a frozen pizza, then you probably don't want to dice a fresh tomato. Use about half the can and spoon out tomatoes on top of the pizza. Place the stone and pizza back in the oven for three to four minutes. After that, pull the stone and pizza out. Step five, the final bit of magic. Sprinkle Parmesan cheese on top of the pizza. If you wish to add some olives or maybe get fancy with some feta cheese or even some pineapple chunks, then feel free to experiment. So let's summarize. The pizza costs $2.50. The garlic costs 25 cents. The pepperoni costs $1.25. The tomatoes cost $1. And the parmesan costs 75 cents. You total all that up, $5.75. So there you have it. How to transform your frozen pizza into a tasty treat. Is it cheap? Yep. Is it fast? Yep. Is it edible? Yeah. Is it healthy? Well, I can't be perfect.